como estas, my brothers, my sisters. As you can see, right now I am hairy at this moment. <laughs> you see my hair all over the place. It's hard for you to hear me right now because I have this AC blasted right now because I am experiencing the heat. So right now we're fasting. It's Ramadan time. I'm fasting, so I can't drink water. That's why you see my lips chapped so bad. And now what I want to talk to you guys about is the importance of sleep. Although today I have not gotten as much sleep as I would like to have, the importance of sleep is so many folds. A lot of people neglect sleep. For myself, I had this initial problem with neglecting sleep. Um, sleep is one of those topics that is overlooked because you know, people love sleep, right? But they don't want to spend time sleeping. But they love sleep, you know? They love to sleep inside but one day and then they realize that they spent so many hours of their lives, of their days, going by sleeping. Just imagine how many people sleeping 12 hours a day. That's half the day gone. But then on the flip side, the guys who don't get enough sleep and who just work so much or who just busy going out, spending night, uh, you know, drinking the bars, clubs, and they got work in the morning, so they get like two, three hours of sleep. They drink coffee, espresso, you know, double shots, all this cappuccino, cappa this, cappa that. Or you're gonna, first of all, with that excess coffee, excessive coffee intake, you're going to burn out your adrenal glands, and that's gonna make you feel more tired over time, and that's going to uh, get into this cycle of poison where you're just going to need more and more coffee just to keep that state afloat. So I know right now we're talking all over the place but I just want you guys to understand how important sleep is and how um, the right amount of sleep will affect not only your mood, your productivity, your energy and your overall success and happiness throughout life. So. <clears throat> And it's not just the amount of sleep, it's also the quality of sleep and also the time of sleep. So the amount of sleep is important and a lot of people say this debate on 6 hours, 7 hours, 8 hours, 9 hours. And I think it just depends on you. The overall rule is 8. Um, some people like 7. I like 7, 6.5, 7, 6.5 with some naps. That's perfectly fine. But the most important thing is quality. You could have two hours of sleep and you could have 10 hours of sleep. But if that 10 hours you spent waking up and then going back to sleep, so much noise, and you wake up and you feel like, you know, you feel terrible because you did not have good sleep. You did not have quality sleep. But if you had two hours of sleep, straight sleep, no distractions, no uh, outside stimuli, the straight sleep, then you will feel much better than you would if you slept that 10 hours. And the reason of that is that you have more quality of sleep. This is like, let's say you go to work and you focus on that work for two hours or you go to work and you just, you try, you work for 10 hours, like you were clocked in for 10 hours, but you spend uh, like, you know, most of the time distracting yourself, most of the time distracting, not really getting into that focus. So you could get more done in that two hours than you would get done in 10 hours. So the same principle applies. The time of sleep, is also very important because our body has what's known uh, as a circadian rhythm, a natural circadian rhythm. You know, it's naturally, as the sun goes down, um, we slowly start to wind down and we slowly prepare to go back to sleep. We slowly prepare to rest and rejuvenate and prepare for the next day. So, and you know, take in everything that we have accumulated during that day so that we can come back stronger, better the next day with the new experiences and the new knowledge. So, right when the sun is down, um, nighttime is the best sleep. There is no, there is no replacement. There, there are no substitutions for nighttime sleep. There are none. Because just like in the morning, the sun is important for you to get that vitamin D, for you to get that energy level. In the night, it is important for you to get that sleep. If you're spending your peak hours during the day in the morning sleeping, you are not getting that vital sun, vital energy that your body um, naturally produces. So you're missing out on something, 
not only are you missing out on the sun, but you're missing out on the benefits of sleeping at the night. So you're just getting, it's a double-edged sword from the front and from the back. So you're done. Um, the time of sleep, most important, is sleeping early, of course. But what's more important is sleeping at the same time every single day and waking up at the same time every single day. Why is that important, you say? Because our body likes to automate things. Our body, our, you know, the mind, we just, human beings in general, we just like to do things in a more efficient way. So once we start doing things uh, in the same pattern over time, it becomes automatic for us. Now, if we sleep on the same time every single day and wake up at the same time every single day, our body will adjust to that time period and it will uh, prepare for us to sleep um, at that same time beforehand. So that by that time, so when that time comes, we are prepared to sleep and that we fall asleep just like that. There is no hesitation. There is no insomnia. There are no. Uh, there are no I can't sleep. There are no counting sheep. No, you feel you feel tired well before your bedtime, and by the time your bedtime hits, you're ready to hit the bed. By the time you hit the bed, you're already asleep. You don't even know, and that's how it should be. Your body prepares because it has gotten into that pattern, that automatic, automatic function where it sleeps on time. The benefits of that is you sleep right away. That means you can hit that stage of sleep and that means you spend less time sleeping because you spend less time trying to sleep. So that means you get more quality sleep because your body prepares for it. So you go to sleep, you're focused in that sleep, your body prepares for that sleep. You get all the benefits from that sleep. I'll make another video of the benefits of sleep, um, but it's how to sleep, the importance of sleep. So you sleep, you get get into that automatic state of sleeping right away what the, another benefit of that is if you wake up at the same time every single day your body will naturally wake up at that same time every single day and you will wake up rejuvenated energized and focused right at the beginning of the day there is no I don't want to feel it no you'll be, you wake up at the same time every single day you're gonna wake up you're gonna jump out of bed you're gonna feel energetic you're gonna be prepared for the day you're gonna feel powerful throughout the day because not only did you have quality sleep but you also got up right away and you did not waste time you did not waste time to you know playing with this insomnia theory and you did not uh, waste time playing with this snoozing theory well I'm just saying theory but snoozing um, epidemic and um, just living a better efficient life you know time is the most important asset we have and we must use it wisely so why not be smart about how we do things why not be smart about how we sleep how we approach our sleep and how we um, think about sleep really because you know sleep is rest rejuvenation and uh, like I said it will help it will result in a much better uh, a life a more effective more efficient more joyful joyous more uh, productive successful life for sure if you can, ha can handle sleep at the same time every single day waking up at the same time every single day and doing the little habits that we'll talk about um, before sleeping and after sleeping I said that's all you need that's all you need because how many hours we spend a third of our life sleeping you know so let us get the best out of it most of people are sleep deprived you're not if you do this you're not you will not need any amount of caffeine no espresso in the morning no shots in the morning none of that none of that take a look at this I'm on the smart car by the way beautiful getting the sun we tan inside the car with the AC we don't need that outside so I hope you guys uh, learned something today there's something I'm struggling with there's something I always have to remind myself about and I have to constantly uh, you know if it's a never-ending battle but I have to constantly be focused and uh, once I hit that shrine, I see it in myself. Once I hit that shrine, I feel amazing. And that's the most uh, productive, those are the most productive days of my life. And I invite you to join me. I invite all of us to motivate each other and join each other 
on this journey of becoming the most effective, most productive, most happy, most joyous, most energetic version of ourselves. Peace!